Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ravi Singh and I'm going to help you understand great engineering concepts around us. For that, you just need to hit the subscribe button down below. Guys, this video is made for the purpose of answering the question that I discussed in the last video. And the question was, why do golf ball have dimples? The intention behind this video is that two, three guys told me that uh, the concept from the previous video was not pretty much clear. So that's why I made up my mind and uh, made this video in order to make the concept even more clearer behind why do golf ball have dimples. So let us start. See, first of all, let us see what happens in case of smooth ball, a ball without dimples. So suppose this is a smooth ball moving in this direction. This is the moving direction of this ball. So air will approach this ball from this direction. Now because of smooth surface of this ball, this ball is having smooth surface. So because of this smooth surface of this ball, this air will have a laminar flow as it passes over the surface of this ball. And what is the meaning of this laminar flow? Laminar flow is a flow in which the layers are arranged. This is a regular pattern flow. No eddies or choppiness is there within this flow. So this kind of flow will be here in case of smooth ball. Now, as this air will pass through this ball, after reaching some distance, it will try to separate. This is called as flow separation. So this air will try to separate, say from here and from here. This will be symmetrical. Okay. So let us say this is 90 degree and this flow is separating at 10 degree further. Now this 10 degree is a kind of reference which I am taking. This is not a correct value obviously. So this is a kind of reference in case of laminar flow. Okay. So as this air is coming, it is separating at a 10 degree from here. Okay, this much is pretty much clear. Now again, this air will join each other after some distance. We are not bothering about what is happening there. So let us stick our discussion to this zone only. So as the air is getting separated at this 10 degree, here, this zone will be no air zone. Why? Because air is just going here. It is not coming in this direction as it is separating. So air is just going here. Okay. It is not coming here. So this is no air zone. Now what is happening because of this no air zone? Actually when air is not present here, then there will be no pressure from this direction. Because if the fluid will be present, then only it will apply a pressure, no? So here, since no air is here, no air zone is there, so no pressure will be from here. So this is no pressure zone or say low pressure zone, okay? Because some pressure will be there, that is negligible kind of pressure will be there, but we are just telling it no pressure or low pressure zone, okay? That much clear. And the fluid, the air is approaching from forward direction. So these airs are just applying a pressure from this direction to this ball. That is also obvious because air is present at each and every point here. So it will apply a pressure from this direction. So suppose this pressure multiplied by area, that force, the forward force, we are calling it F forward. And if I'm just making a full zone like this. So air is present here 
but no air is present here so this air will apply some force from this direction uh, obviously i am taking a component in the x direction okay uh, it will uh, obviously the air will apply a pressure normal to the surface but i am just taking a component in the x direction that is pretty much clear so this f forward and the summation of all these forces within the air zone okay because in no air zone no force will be there because no pressure is there so in the air zone this air zone okay this air zone there will be force and that force we are calling is f backward and this f forward minus f backward is what is called as drag force okay so this is drag force in case of smooth ball now let us see what happens when the ball is having dimples so this is golf ball these are dimples so again the same case we are assuming that this ball is moving in this direction this is the moving direction and so since ball is moving in this direction so air will approach from this direction in this manner and it will again create a pressure on this ball from this direction so that it will try to hinder the sailing of the ball the movement of the ball but now due to this dimples on the surface of the ball it will as soon as the air will touch this ball it will these dimples will try to create a choppiness or eddies in the flow and that is manifested in terms of turbulence so it will kind it will create a kind of turbulence in the air which is sailing over this golf ball and what is the say benefit of this kind of turbulence due to dimples is that the flow will remain attached to this ball a further downstream so again i'll take a reference like say in case of this lamina flow we were taking this as 10 degree that the flow will get separated at a 10 degree from this vertical here it will remain further 20 degree further it will remain attached 20 degree further say this hole is 30 degree so up to 10 degree the lamina flow was attached to the flow uh, attached to the ball now here this flow will remain attached a further 20 degree okay so this is the benefit of turbulence so what will be the benefit of this see now again our full zone is this here we are going to uh, have the force so now the air will remain further attached 20 degree to the flow so now the no air zone this no air zone is less okay this is less in this case obviously because the flow remain attached 20 degree further now obviously these are just reference values okay this is not some kind of like exact value of 20 30 and 10 degree i'm just taking as a reference okay so this but this is obvious that no air zone will be less in this case and it will be more in this case and this these two are like not a negligible kind of difference the difference will be more okay that's why uh, the dimples are having benefits in case of golf ball so this no air zone will be less in case of golf ball having dimples so the presence of air from the backward is more because this is less that's obvious so if the presence of air will be more from the backward then this f backward force will be more this will be more because more air will try to push from the backward and this f forward force will be same as that of before because no not no changes are made in the forward direction and nothing is going to change in the forward direction so this 
f backward force will be more so this f forward minus f backward is again manifested in terms of drag force but now see in case of this smooth ball this f backward let me write it here this f forward minus f backward this is drag force so in case of smooth flow like in case of smooth ball this f backward was more as we have seen less sorry less as we have seen because of the more no air zone here the no air zone is less so the f backward force was less in case of smooth ball but here due to less no air zone the force will be more this backward force will be more and here the backward force will be less so the net force that, that is f forward minus f backward will be less in case of ball with dimples and that will be more in case of ball without dimples or smooth ball that's why the turbulent due to this turbulent kind of flow the flow will remain attached further downstream and due to this the backward force will be more and due to which the net force will be less that is the drag force will be less and the ball will sail further also for more exciting contents about science related stuffs in the form of news videos or articles don't forget to like our page science talk on facebook for which the link is given below